Okay, it's kind of like Christmas today. I uh, bought a new toy. It's called the Short Sniffer. Uh, this is what it looked like when I pulled it out of the box. Uh, looks like some instructions. A little storage case. Packing material. And that's it. This was right at $200. Not much to it, but the whole point of buying this was to get back on this Turbo Duo board, which I have a short from the 5 volt rail to ground. And there are two voltage regulators on the Duo, and it's the inner one that has the short. And the problem is, it feeds power to a lot of surface mount chips, front and back. And the other problem is, is my multimeter, even my best one, only has a 0.1 ohm resolution. And it would take me, I, I might not never get it with the, with the multimeter, but um, the theory is if you have a good resolution multimeter, you can actually... Uh, and check the resistance between power and ground all around the board and wherever it's smallest is closest to where the short is. And with the short sniffer, let me back up a little bit, um, the first video I made about this, um, somebody recommended what was called the leak seeker. Um, much like the short sniffer, I guess, but um, it went out of production early last year and has not gone back into production for the new model yet. Um, I did contact the guy uh, somewhere in Florida and he said it went out of production because it used parts that are no longer made or available and the new model should be um, going into production sometime this year but you know I don't I don't have a date or anything and I'd like to get this duo fixed soon. Uh, this is not my duo though, I mean somebody sent this to me to fix and uh, I, I just don't like having it sitting around and, and waiting, so that's why I went ahead and I found the short sniffer. And it was, I was kind of skeptical about buying this because the website seriously looks like it has not been updated since 1998. I mean, it's just an awful, awful website. But there was plenty of information. Um, he even had links to all his competition, which um, there are a few other devices like this um, that use sound or whatever to uh, locate shorts like this. Um, one of them was called the Tone Ohm. I can't remember the company that actually makes it, but it's a super expensive piece of equipment. There, I think there was one on eBay that I found, and, and the, there was actually two or three, but the cheapest one I found was $350, and it looked like it was made in you know 1975 or something. It looked super old. So, I mean, that's why I went for something newer, and um, so I got this. So, I'm going to go through my instruction pack here a little bit, try to figure out how to work this thing, and then we're going to hook it up to the Duo and uh, see if I can locate the problem area on this. And hopefully, we can get this Duo uh, running again. It looks like he also includes a test board, practice board is what it says. So you can learn how to use it before you actually put it onto the problem board. That's pretty cool. Now I can see tiny, tiny little shorts there. That's cool. So let's see if we can hook it up, play around with it. There are some instructions on using the practice board. A couple sheets of instructions. Nothing too exciting. Seems pretty straightforward. It says turn it on. There's a switch right there. And then short these together. And then run the pickup probe. Over it. 
Then you got your volume and frequency. Now you can tell on the end, you know, maybe a little inductor or something on the end of the pickup probe. But you can tell it's oriented a certain way on the end. So if you rotate it 90 degrees, you get different sounds. Interesting. So let's see, he said 11 and 12 are shorted. I think he said somewhere around 24 is somewhere looks like the traces basically run together on 1112 weird I want to play around with that some more but at least you get a get a way to practice with it before you actually put it to use. 